Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna continue working on part 15 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to put it from Revit to Twinmotion. Now we're gonna continue working on this. As you can see, we already added some of the materials. Um, first thing first, I want to rotate the sunlight here so I want to at least have this faded show of light here I like to grease it some somewhat so something like this is good I like the way it bounces and then now we could add in some grass so what I'm gonna do here is go back here go to settings and then um, there's two ways where we could add some grass it's either vegetation scatter so here we go to context vegetation scatter and vegetation paint for the vegetation vegetation paint um, I think the best way is to isolate the floor where the grass is if you use vegetation scatter we just need to click on it so here I'm gonna select this and then I'm gonna click on scatter and then once we select here it will keep on adding to this part only the problem with this is you cannot basically um, there's no way that you can um, actually control what you're adding so here as you can see this is overlapping and then here as well if you can see overlaps and then we need to clean those up here I'm just adding it I want to make sure that everything is covered and as you can see it will cover everything that it's in there but here as you can see I just want to add this and then we need to clean up some of the edges there so it's really it's really fast to add grass but it's not something that you can control on especially when you're when you're just clicking and then it's overlapping that's why I use the other tool vegetation paint where I isolate this one as well so now here I'm just going to add some some grass here so let's go here detailed grass here I can, as you can see I'm just adding the, the grass So I'm add adding it manually to this one so that I don't need to use vegetation scatter. So I know this is a pain but I just want to control it. And then I want to change this material as well. And then at the same time so here I want stone let's see stone and then this one and I want it want it to make it darker a little and then let's add in some trees 
so I just want to put something here there we go and then here I want to add something really small just to show that there is some plants so I just want to manually add it there and then just over and then rotate it a little bit there we go so nothing is sticking too much so like that trees there um, we can now use vegetation scatter or vegetation paint to add in more of this so I'm just adding things that I can see that looks nice and then here I'm gonna select all of them put up the density and then now select this one to add it with the background For the guava, I don't like the guava tree. I don't like it. So, just trees for me. And then I like the, the background. We just need to add more trees. So you can hold on trees and we can add it manually. So, hold on control buttons one year, selecting those trees. And then we could just add those trees manually, like so. So it will randomly change for you. And then once you finish that we can add in some trees that are are noticeable and then trees that are small enough on the side and then trees like this that are huge and yes I kinda like that let's add in some cars right here so I'm just gonna add in something like this and then rotate it 90 This one looks nice. I, love I like the way it looks. And then we added some lights there. Um, let's add in a car at, at the side there. And then let's add some 
motorbikes right here. And some bike. I'm happy with that. We can add something right here at outside. Some outside tables and chair. Something quick that we could add. Office backyard tables something like that this one we could just add quickly delete that and then just add just one on each side just to have something like that and there may be a table I could add this table then add it right here in the middle so that's looking good I like the way that it looks and then to add more right here is We can add some curtain. So here, I'm just going to add curtain. And then let's rotate this. then just add it on each side like so and maybe we could add it on the other side as well and we could add it just right here just moving it on the other side so that still seeing something there don't forget to keep on saving and then next thing is so just to s I just noticed that this one's overlapping so we need to go here and make it smaller we need to see what's below pull it up I think that's the perfect height so we could just delete this and delete this one as well So now we could just select this and then drag it and then drag it again on the other side so that we could have it. Okay, that's 
for dinner. Then now, what we could do is we could click on media. We can turn this off now and then click on image and then basically we're creating our image here is our image um, we could we could add this one like that and then just a perfect shot and then here it's already finished like that full HD now we can make it 4k so we're changing the format and then here rendering turn it on so so turn it on like that we could see a faster one so ch just change this to low we just want to see how it looks first and then view this first like so I'm just fixing the framing so I could go back here and then just reset so that I'm gonna turn that off again and then here once I turn this on I could change the exposure white balance ambient sun intensity around 2 this one around 1 and then here in camera visual effects contrast and then saturation So around 37 and 39 right here. Then go back again to the image and then res refresh it so that it register everything. And then once we're ready, what we can do is um, before that actually, um, we could add in some lights here if we want to but it's still looking good at the moment so now I'm just going to undo that select this one still in the same look and then here we could just do it like this and then create another one and then here let's create another one put it to number two so that then change it again I want to make this one nice So 
So this one I'm just going to move this one a little bit right there. So now going back here, we just need to turn this on and change it to high on all of them. And then this one as well, turn this to high. So we're done with the images. I'm happy with this. Just keep on refreshing so that it recognizes. So I made a mistake here. So it needs to be refreshed right here or else it will change it to the other in terms of this one I'm gonna create another copy same thing but I'm gonna change this more and I'm going to change the weather select this and then refresh it again and then probably maybe one more but raining Select this one, weather, pull this one back again so that everything is fast and do that. This one has changed the light. and then save this let's change this one like that different view and then turn this on so all of them has different views except for this one and that one at least five images so save this again so now I'm gonna quit media mode and then here let's start adding or creating the video so here I'm gonna create one video first it will look like this to start I'm gonna move this one right here, refresh this, and then and then move move forward. I'm gonna move this one on the left side and then move forward. So that's our keyframe. I could just change this to 6 seconds and then if you review it it will look like this and then now another way is going here another video part so new video part and then going front that's 3 this way go front three seconds so now if we check this one this one is slow 
we can make that fast and then after that I want a whole circle here so I'm gonna click this in the middle again another keyframe and then another keyframe right here if you see this 10 seconds is too much I believe so let's make it 8 so that's good and then here we could have this one like that and then fast like that I want to frame it better this one should be around 5 let's change this one to 5 as well so now after that we could we could add this look going front or going here and then this one another 3 seconds like this and then we could put 3 again make it 4 that's too fast and then here I want from below to up and then that's 4 again won't play this but I don't like the keyframe I want to center it more and go up now I'm exiting this one gonna create a shot right here two seconds and then two seconds right here and then now I'm just going to go back and then that's 4 seconds and then after that I'm going to duplicate this rename it show real and then the other one rename it this will be shorts and then click on more change the format I want this to be 1000 over 700 so that's the format for the short and I just need to review it so usually I review this so now I'm seeing that it's too far I just want it to be like this to right here this one's good 
This one is good. This one is okay as well. This shot probably. I'm gonna delete this. Delete. This shot, we could probably make it like that instead. So that it's a lot nearer. And this one is fine. This one is good as well. Maybe the last one right here or a lot near and then go outside like that. So I'm happy with this and thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.